welcome to this week's chess puzzle. Today we will tackle a checkmate in two moves that white makes on black. But Albert, didn't we last week say that it was time for black to win some here in the chess puzzle? Actually we did, but I find this puzzle too good to not analyze it. So, let's do it then, okay? Yeah, so you are to find a checkmate in two moves on black. You have one minute to your disposal. So, good luck. It sure looks tempting to play knight g5 here, threatening in the queen and in the same time a fork in f7. Yeah, it really does. But after knight to g5, we do actually don't have a checkmate in one move. And we lose a tempo as well. That's right. So which candidate moves do we have that we should analyze a bit more? First off, we can delete the knight to g5 variation and it doesn't generate a checkmate. We do, however, have rook h to e1 bishop to a5 check, and bishop to g5 check. So what do we say about rook to e1? Does this uh, ge generate a force checkmate for us? No, actually it don't. The queen can just take the rook. And be sure to notice that when the queen takes our rook, we are under with a rook and a piece. But the queen could also just move away to, for example, h4. And then a checkmate with bishop to a5 would appear. Exactly. Black cannot protect himself from both the checks, nothing can be put between the two in the same time. And the king cannot go anywhere. But as I said, this is assuming that black doesn't take our rook. So let's delete this variation for the reason that black can escape from a mate. Exactly. So what happens instead on bishop a5 check in this position? What is happening here is that we open the rook lane against the king as we move the bishop, just as in the previous variation. But unlike before, black has an opportunity to flee to e7. And there, there's no checkmate. It does, however, look really tempting to pin down the queen with the rook to e1, but it's not a checkmate. And as we said, black can just take the rook and still be better. Therefore, we take a look at the last variation, bishop to g5 check. And this is indeed the right one, right? Yeah, actually it is. The, both the bishop and the rook are checking. Black cannot perform m moves such as f6 because of the rook. He is here forced to move either the king to a8 or king to c7. And no matter what he plays, we have a checkmate. So how do we proceed if he chooses king to e8? Then we simply play rook to e1 checkmate. And what do we do on king to c7? Then we play bishop to e8 with our beautiful checkmate. So poor black is completely defeated. Yes, he is. And next week we will however get his revenge. Well, he better. <laughs> and we hope that it went well for you all in this puzzle. The best thing with these puzzles is that everyone can participate, regardless of one's skills. And if you don't manage to solve it, you can at least get a sense of how to think. Precisely. And if you manage to solve it, you can enjoy the feeling of a certain amount of skill or even smartness. <laughs> but we'll see you again next week. Bye.